particular tutorial, we'll be understanding about your standard libraries and the built-in tools in the robot framework. So let's get started up here very quickly. So let me take you towards the agenda. So our complete tutorial will be divided up into two parts. The very first will be your standard libraries and the second part is going to be your built-in tools. So I'm going to take you towards and start off with the standard libraries. So under the standard libraries, we'll be discussing in detail about your built-in, dialogues, process and remote. These are the four libraries that we'll be seeing up detail here. So let's get started up here very quickly. My very first library that I'll be taking you through is your built-in library in your robot framework. Now this is a type of a library which actually provides you up a set of generic keywords. Now those generic keywords you can use up while you're uh, testing and uh, whenever you're using the robot frameworks at that particular time and if you're requiring up this built-in library. So at that time, all of those keywords can be helping you out for uh, doing up the testing and the automation things. Now this is one of the libraries which is a built-in library that is imported up automatically. So in this case, whenever you are using up your keywords that are into your built-in, so those things get imported up automatically. And we have a quite uh, simple example over here for the built-in library. And that's your, uh, it could be example of should be equal, should contains, right? So these types of the things that these types of the keywords are, they are the generic keywords, which I was talking about, the set of those uh, which we have up into your built-in library of your ro robot framework. So always remember whenever you require a, a set of generic keywords which you need to use up into your uh, testing and the things, always refer up this built-in library. Next we have onto the list our dialogues library. So this is one of the libraries which helps you if you want to pause up a text test whatever you're performing or if you want to pause the execution of your test right if you want to get in the inputs from the user so in that respective case you use up into your dialogues library so the the work of this particular thing is a sort of a uh, one which is required for pausing your test or your test executions or getting up some input from the users that's what is the main idea of your dialogues framework or library you say it out even here you are having a long line which are wrapped up automatically into your dialogues library even it's one of the things we are having up here that is whenever you want up a new line to add up a new line into your test or wherever you are using it out so you simply use of the backslash in character backslash and if you are aware about python so you might have heard about backslash and a lot because it helps you to uh, make up a new line right same here goes in that if you want to add up a new line so always you can use of the backslash in character and it will really help you out to generate or, or to add up the things onto a newer line now dialogue this portal dialogues library help us to do a lot of things you all have recently learned about those but there's one limitation as well of this particular library and it is that it cannot be used out with the timeout. So wherever we are having up the timeouts and we are working upon the things where we just, just require some of the timeout for the things like that, there your dialogues library cannot be used out. So whenever you are using up this dialogues library of your robot framework, always check in first of all, do that particular execution or the test require timeouts or not. If yes, so you cannot use the dialogues library over there. And if not, so please go ahead and use up this dialogues library over that particular part. So hope I am clear with the dialogues library as well. Moving on to the next, we have process library. Now, if I talk about this process library, so uh, it is a sub process module which we have up into your Python and it lies under the Poppin class. You might have heard out this name for time it might happen about the poppin class but yeah that's one of the uh class which we have up onto the python and the python sub process module it is one of the python sub processes module and it's poppin class right it is inside that 
now when we talk about the process so we all know that it is something is going to happen a procedure process is what it is about something happening right so whenever you have to wait whenever you are waiting for the completion of your task or your test using you use of the run process keyword over there right so waiting for the completion using your run process keyword whenever you want to start the processes onto your background we use up the start processes keyword right whenever you are waiting uh, for some process to that has started and waiting for its completion then you use a wait for process keyword so it's like that there are different different keywords which come under your process library and you frequently use that out like you are waiting for completion so yeah run process keyword will work out whenever you are starting up a process on background so start processes will work out right whenever you are waiting for some of the process to get completed you will be using up your wait for process so that's the idea regarding how you use up the processes or the process library over here and the keywords from that particular library right even if you want to stop something so you can just use up the terminate process so some of the very commonly used process i had just mentioned up over here onto the slide and that you can have a full look as well and even i just explain that when what type of process will help you out right so hope i'm clear with that let's proceed on to our next library next onto the loop we have the remote library now what does this remote library helps us to do it actually allows up your robot framework test libraries to run as external processes so this is one of the libraries which really uh, help you to run uh, your test libraries as an external process it as well comes under your robot framework only it as well helps you and allows you to run the test libraries onto different different machines that's quite a very useful thing for us whenever we are executing up some test or some test execution is taking place so many times we need up the different different machines for running up the test libraries right so absolutely remote library can help you out over there but there is one sort of a drawback or i would say uh I would the limitation you can say that it there's a possibility it might happen there about some disturb testing right possibilities for the disturb testing arises up into your remote library so always make sure that you're carefully using up this particular library at your ends for your test execution now i have talked in detail about the four libraries of the robot framework which helps you up into your test executions but rather than about, apart from those things, we are having some more libraries which we have up here in the robot framework. So there are some libraries which are listed at collections, telnet, date time, operating systems, screenshot, string, XML. So yeah, these are all of the libraries which even help you out with the different different things under your robot library. But the previous four which I have discussed with you those are especially helping you for into your execution of the test under the robot framework so that is the reason i just explained over the previous four to you now when we are done up with the libraries i'll be talking in about the built-in tools which we have up under the robot framework and which we need to discuss up over here so let's get started out we have three built-in tools rebot libdoc and test doc Let's proceed in and see a little bit of details regarding these built-in tools. So first of all, I'll be talking about the Rebot one. Okay, now Rebot tool is one of the very powerful built-in uh, functions which we have up here into your robot framework because what's the reason? Uh, what are the XML files, XML output files we are having in? So this Rebot tool helps you uh, to be pre to pre-process that afterwards as well. So right, using up this particular rebot tool, your XML output files can be pre-processed. Sorry, can be post-processed afterwards as well. So afterwards, if you want to post-process that, or afterwards you want to process that, absolutely with the help of your rebot 
tool, you can process up those XML output files. Now, whenever there are some of the test reports or some of the logs are generated while your text execution or execution of the test, so in that case, it gets automatically used out. So it is used automatically whenever there are some test reports or some logs are being generated. So focus upon this particular thing that the Rebot framework, this Rebot built-in tool, built-in function which we have in the Robot framework, it is used in for two things. Firstly, whenever your test reports or the logs are generated and secondly, whenever you, you want to process up your XML output files. That's the idea. Now, after having a bad idea about your Rebot framework, sorry, Rebot uh, built-in tool, I'll be taking you towards the LibDog built-in tool. So, LibDog is one of the ones which will help you to generate up the documentation for the robot framework libraries and the resource files. So, whatever the robot framework libraries you are having, you have used in, it will help you to generate up a proper documentation regarding all of those particular libraries so lib stands for the library and doc doc you know it is about the documentation right even uh now the type of documentation which it generates it is your html hypertest markup language documentation uh, for the humans and as well as for the readables uh, for the machine readables like your XML or the JSON formats are as well into which it generates up the documentation, right? So for humans, it is generated onto the HTML document format and for machines, so that machines can as well read it out, it is generated onto the XML or the JSON formats. So this is about your LibDoc library. It's nothing of the technical one, but uh, apart from the technical, it's more of a theoretical one, like LibDoc library, which actually helps you to generate up the documentations regarding the robot framework libraries and the resource files which have been used out. So I hope I am clear with this LibDoc library to you. Moving next, we have the test doc library. Now, whenever you want to generate up some high level documentations, whatever the test cases you have used in, for those test cases, you want to generate some high level documentations. Test doc is a built in tool that you will be using up over there. So test and again, doc stands for documentation. So test documentation. Whenever you are use, using or making up some test cases over your test execution, have, things have taken place. So for the generate of the high level documentation based upon the test cases which are there onto your uh, test, this library, sorry, this built-in tool helps you out. It creates up your documentations into the HTML format, which is very much easier for the humans to read it out, right? So that is about your test doc built-in tool. So under the built-in tools, we have these three built-in tools which come up under your robot framework, which are helping you uh, for the test executions and the automation things. Right, so I hope I am clear with this thing to you all. So here we complete out our tutorial regarding your standard libraries and built-in tools of a robot framework. Next, we are gonna proceed on into the next video with the hands-on for the first test execution using the lambda test platform and the robot framework and if you want to get in some more knowledge regarding these uh, all the robot frameworks the standard libraries built-in tools so you can always go on to the website of lambda test and check out the blogs over there everything is written in very much detail see you in the next video